Hi, I made a mistake and I uh, didn't get anything to drink. So I'm going to go do that right now. If you, uh, excuse me, if you want, fast forward like 30 seconds. I got to go out to the kitchen. through it's 8 10 in the morning i'm sorry that wasn't beer or anything else it was a can of seltzer even though i kind of feel like having um anything carbonated from a can before 11 o'clock seems wrong to me because i associate it with soda and soda is not a breakfast thing to me that's the fucking dumb train of thought here anyway sorry hi i need another drink as we contemplate wednesday mm. What a world. And being here in the U.S. with us, very much enjoying our, I guess, viral outbreak, I guess you could say. And a lot of us having to stay at home, depending on what state you live in. The one I live in isn't in lockdown in any way, but I'm sure at some point, eventually all states, unless you're some dumb, defiant state that says, well, this is America, God damn it, we're free, I won't force you to, one of those ones, we're stuck at home, and since we're inside our houses, apartments, domiciles, can't go outside, I figured, let's go see the lakes of the world, because we can't travel anywhere, or if you do, you're an idiot, as subjected by many videos of spring breakers, of teens, all that stuff. Uh, the average score of this one seemed to be 9,000. I'm very much sure that... Is that a guitar? Of course it is. I'm assuming these are backpackers on the Amazon River. Although, is that English? Minutos? I don't know. Like, this feels Southeast Asia, if not the... Uh, the Brazilian Amazon. We'll see when I get to this sign here. Let me uh, see if I can't scroll in there. I can't make out what that is. See, this could be the Philippines, and this also could be uh, Brazil. Cooperativa, multi-activa, transportados. Yeah, I, I, I can't. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. Here we are. 2020. Good start to the year. What is, okay, I maybe be able to tell where we, okay, no. Postal bond. I thought maybe seeing these. Manizawa. Naranja. Isn't that Spanish for orange? Not Spanish, Portuguese. Vilar los coches. None of these help me. This, I feel, would help me, but I'm not getting a good enough uh, lineup with it to figure out what this is. Like, I still feel this could be Brazil or the Philippines, and I've not seen anything to help me out otherwise. So let's maybe get into town a bit more to maybe figure this stuff out a little better. Give me... So... Everything that I'm about to point out would just be a thing that you can say about Philippines or any other tropical place where it's very rainy, it looks tropical, and none of in vaguely Spanish and if Portuguesean. So I've not figured this out anymore. I mean, it's called a lake. Amazon River is not a lake, unless your uh, designation of lake is dumb. And has no respect for basic geographical, uh, whatever the word is, <clears throat> Ge geographical consistencies, thought, logic. I mean, I don't know. Um, is there like a large enough lake? in the Philippines to make me think that this could be, I'm sure there is, like that looks to be a big enough lake. Lake Lanao, 
Like, I'm either going to get this wrong or nail it. If it's not there, it's, it's, it's got to be, it's over here. It's one of these two, and I'm so mad that, that I'm not, I'm not going to get this. The 36 seconds. This is just going to set the, set precedence for how bad the rest of the uh, round's going to go. Anyway, I'm going to take a sip and contemplate what I'm going to do. Since the last video where I was, oh, we are in a town. What is Soma Willi? That doesn't help me. We're in a Colombiana. I think I got the country at least right. Oh, thank. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad at the last second. What lake is this? Okay. They have no respect for what we would call rivers and lakes here. And I don't know if I trust this map theme anymore. But there's Siberia apparently in uh in Colombia. How about that? Yeah, anyway, since the last time we talked where I wasn't sure if uh this is Korea, isn't it? I believe that's Korean. This looks to be at least a reservoir of sorts with pontoon boats. And this looks to be uh, pretty low on the uh, water level in this reservoir, as you can see how high usually the water is. Just by, or just by the exposed rock. It seems to be a dry summer of sorts here. Let me just see if I can't get closer. That is gotta. That is gotta be Korean. I'll just say we're here. Yeah. Anyway, since last we spoke, I was not sure of how the uh, my work was going to go. Technically, what I do could be is considered like essential work. Smart energy creator. It's a dam. I think this is a dam. Yeah, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna be, oh, I guess we're, I guess we're stuck here and I can't see anything else past that. We're gonna hit home and I guess continue on the road. So there really wasn't a worry about me not being able to do my work. It was just whether or not I was actually going to travel, like continue commuting to work and it basically went for four days and probably six hours. So until the uh, last few hours of work, it wasn't until that we got the notification. And order's a bit of a strong word, but just, uh, yeah, order to, if you can work from home, we're going to make you work from home, which I look to my right right now. I'm glad I did not throw away my other desk after getting this fancy stand-up one that I'm using right now. And my hello workstation is all set up. So we're going to see how, I don't know how many more weeks of this is. It could be three, six. You know, it's a rough ballpark at this point. But seeing how my state, I think, is this, the, the state average age. I think is three years younger than Italy's, which I think is one of the more older states. It could be concerning, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. I mean, I'm not a health official. My work is not health related. Although, a uh, funny story, I need to take a sip. Not so much funny as maybe a little frustrating that the at least US American work ethic is that even if you're sick, God damn it, you're going to work. There's a lot of guilt and shame kind of tied to taking days off. It's, it's, it's built into a lot of people's mindset and ethos. And uh, sick days, even though you can get them, don't want to use them. And whenever you actually take a sick day, a lot of the mentality, at least kind of from the uh, working in the food industry, Oh God, that was a douchey sentence. Just working in restaurants and whatnot. 
that if you take a day off or sickness, if you're not automatically thought of just being, oh, you're just taking it off because you don't want to work, the other thought is, well, you're fucking everybody else over in the team. They're going to have to work even harder to cover for the work that even the work that you did, even though how shitty it was. Because everyone mostly hates everyone else that works in a the kitchen. There's, there's a esprit de corps, as it's usually said. So again, this is not a, okay, yes, technically that's a body of water. I'll, I'll at least give them that. That everyone's in it together. Um, we're all in the trenches. It's this um, interesting brotherhood thought, I guess you could call it. That, you know, work sucks, but we're going to at least have fun, quote unquote, doing it together. And what do we have here? Eastern Refinery Limited. Interesting. Western Union. So this seems to be a... Is this... Hmm. I feel, or at least, if not in India, no, that doesn't look to be... Bangladeshi, maybe? I'll, I'll, I'll click, like, here. Ah, right there for now. Maybe we're outside of Chittagong. I don't know. <clears throat> but the thought of, you take a day off, you're fucking else, everyone else over. Work's going to be even harder. Everyone's going to have to stay longer to work to get the, pick up the slack. Chikai. Feel that that's something that's going to help me, but I can't make it out. My phone is vibrating. Let me look at it real quick. Anyway, yeah. So the thought is that if you take time off, everyone automatically thinks you're doing it because you're a lazy fuck in that uh, you actually are fine and you can work through it. And um, while not everyone thinks that, it's, I guess you could say, prevailing, and at least a thought process of, no, I'm fine, I'm going to keep working, or the other thing of, I can't afford to take time off, granted, even though everyone I work with is given sick time, or just time off, which is also vacation everything else, it's, regardless, seems to be a very interesting industrial chunk near some water, I just need something to tell me that oil oil Chittagong okay yeah we're outside Chittagong we're on the I'm gonna say we're there um, people refuse to take time off when they're sick they try to work through it and of course when you're sick you get other people sick and that was no different for this week where someone who does get sick a lot it, it, it's kind of a thing but some people they get super sick a lot Others don't. I seem to be one of the people who don't get sick that often. Or when I do, it's because I've cooked something terrible and it's food poisoning. But someone came into work quite a bit for at least two or three days with all of the whole um, coronavirus thing coming through and people being concerned about it. Um, I think I mentioned this last week where they came in with like 104 fever and then they were immediately told to go home. And uh, the boss above my boss, uh, this was said in this meeting, which this other person was at. I'll get to that anyway. Uh, our boss's boss, who got a call from somebody who they have not seen or talked to in the six years that they've had their position, immediately called him up and said, what the fuck are you doing? You know, And sent her home. And while we were told that in this meeting of in the middle of the week, just saying like, hey, we're not entirely sure what we're doing. This other guy who was coughing quite a bit and had a cough, which I call, you know, the, the kind where their, your throat is very congested and you have throat slappers is what I call it, where like that, it's going to be a little gross. The phlegm in your throat, it, it, it's got a snappy pop to it. And he was off his for like two or three, uh, two days, I'll say. Very near the Eastern Refinery. All right. Is there a lot of oil in Bangladesh or is it, is it like offshore? Or is it like regionally located where Chittagong's pretty cheap? And I'm sure Bangladesh is very um not 
desperate, but at least accommodating for companies to come work here. Anyway, um, guy came into work for a couple days, clearly sick, but it kept going. And I only heard this offhand before I left for work on Friday that, you know, he was at least getting a test to see if he actually had the illness. And I very well could not have heard this because it was like offhand. It was not through official channels that I heard. And I probably weren't going to tell anybody until after the fact that they were sick. And if they actually tested positive for having it, Bachberg and Germiston. All right. So is this South Africa? M46. Or is this actually uh, um, another location? M's. Are there M's here? There's R. Yeah, there are M's. M46. Are you here, near here? No, that's 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 Boxburg and Germiston. I feel we're near here. Let's uh, continue on. Anyway, I don't know when I actually would have heard it, and I very well would have gotten a bunch of other people sick. And it's just that thing of, at least human society, when it comes to illnesses like this, we are as strong and as weak as our dumbest, stubbornest, and uh, most irresponsible link. Because germs don't care. They're going to, viruses don't care. They're going to get whoever they can. So if it happens to be the one person that you work with or know that either is careless, selfish, or, um, I don't know, unaware, gets sick and hangs out with everyone else, it causes that chain reaction thing. But anyway, that guy... Got tested for something. I haven't heard back exactly what it is. Could be. It couldn't be. Um, I think they said they don't know what he's got. So at least it's not that. It's very well. Because I'm sure that was one of the first things they tested for. And seeing how they actually do it. Where they shove a very long cotton swab through your nose. All the way to the back. That's got to feel real weird. Mm. I guess you can do whatever you can. N46. It's got to be near here. It, it would be something that if I could, I'd try not to get nasal swabbed, but it's weird, at least for the time being. I don't know how your state, country, location is, but hey, this too, like everything else, will pass. This guy, I'm not going to actually tell you like advice or anything because I'm just some idiot on the internet I don't know anything why should you listen to what I have to say I'm just seeing numbers close to it anyway you shouldn't get your advice from people on a uh, man I see it so close you shouldn't get your advice from somebody who makes videos on YouTube there's, there's people or at least people who have zero knowledge and capability of knowing i mean they can look at other things and refer you to other things but still don't like rely on them for your information there's far better places to get it anyway it's interesting i mean there is that um adage that people talk about when they uh discuss I guess it's like a Chinese, oh, we are, we're near a, it's a pan. I think that's kind of just like a man-made lake. Um, a, a Chinese, I guess, method, lifestyle, this is pretty, lifestyle. I forget what the word is. It's a Chinese culture thing where they maybe don't outright insult you, but they'll say like backhanded compliments, that I guess is the best way to put it. And one of the most popular ones or at least the example they gave whenever they try it, when they discuss this, is they s tell people, like, may you live in interesting times, you know. And I guess this is technically interesting. And Oh, 
Is that a BR? Oh, that's just blurry enough. I can't tell. Is there anything else on this bus? I could I could look at. Oh God, damn it! All right, let's continue. This doesn't seem Brazilian to me. That's why I'm not completely sold. Although it could be. It's an interesting summer. I don't know how long it'll go for, but here we are. I'm fighting off a sneeze. I think I got it. I don't have a sun to stare at. Uh, frankly, well, frankly, thankfully, I guess. I live in a pretty small town here, and meters. This feels European to me. WC. Uh, the water closet is a thing that is European. It is the European style dumpster. That wasn't BR. Okay, it's Serb. Is this yeah Samo Haj Dick? I think I think this is Serbian. Jezero. That have been CZ. I don't. Hmm. Let's let's continue. I got a minute forty six. I think. Man, I got a really high score. I didn't even know this. Although this is worldwide again. It's oh, we do have a truck. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this truck. And maybe see where we are. Now this is a pretty non. What the fuck are you carrying? Nondescript truck here. I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to click on a thing before I uh, forget. Maybe we're... Is there a body? There's a Danube. Is this the Danube? And maybe we're, we're, we're up here, I'm going to say. Maybe like there. I need another drink. But anyway, since I didn't know exactly about that guy, all my weekend plans were essentially shot because, you know, I, if, if I didn't know, I'm just assuming that he did. And there's people that I know or people I was going to hang out with who's at least, is that a sun ray? What the fuck's happening? Yeah, I think it's a sun. Ooh. Who at least have not very good immune systems. Croatia. All right, we're near split. So we're down here. Maybe we're like there. We're here. I'll click there. Um, I mean, this is a truck. Doesn't actually mean that we're near that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put us there. Um, so I kind of force myself to stay home, and I'll treat it as such going forward. I mean, I'm pretty sure if he did have it, there would have been an announcement by now. But I'm not going. Or in our Peruca Lake, this was a pretty. Nice looking place. I'm not going to take any precautions otherwise. Because I'm trying to be as responsible as I can. So I'm not that weak link in the uh, in the chain. Excuse me, i got to clean the glass. Is there a little dust? I want to fast forward a sec. Take a sec. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. I'm back in the game. I'm super serious now. Was that the last one? Oh shit, it was. I'm a little faster than I thought. These have been long videos this week. In the 24 minute mark, which is long. At least for me. That was, that was okay. I mean, actually no, because these were lakes. They were supposed to be. And a lot of these weren't. But thank you all for watching. If you could, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell me. Tell me your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, complaints, corrections, suggestions for other games you want, since I'm going to be kind of stuck in my apartment for a while. Maybe I'll do a few other extra things. I mean, I've been trying to keep my own stuff occupied by painting a bit more, uh, making another batch of parts tighter. Um, we'll see how stir-crazy I go when I record these next week, because this will be the first full week of me working from where essentially my office is, where everything I do is essentially 
15 feet from where I go to bed. Weird times. Be smart, safe, thoughtful, and helpful, especially again, folks. We'll be uh, back here on Friday for some more guessing, guessing geography with some poorly pronunciation person. Goodbye.